An update now on a story we first brought you yesterday. City crews were out on DuSable Lakeshore Drive today picking up down light poles. Those poles cost at least one driver a pretty penny, and it could have been much worse. CBS 2 Suzanne Lemigno first exposed the danger. She's along DuSable Lakeshore Drive with an update for us tonight. Suzanne? Joe, you know, right after my five o'clock story aired in the afternoon yesterday, a viewer emailed us and said he's noticed that many of the down light poles along DuSable Lakeshore Drive are not picked up. Well, take a look right here. There is the outline of a pole at least 36 feet in length here, and that pole used to be here yesterday, but it was picked up less than 24 hours after our story aired. We know two of the four light poles you see on top of the Chicago Department of Transportation truck were once on this stretch of DuSable Lakeshore Drive yesterday, just north of 31st Street. You can see a large amount of rust on two of the poles. We saw the crew on this spot today and followed them to capture this video. We spoke to a woman named Stacy Sweat Wednesday. She told us she was with her husband when he ran over this pole on July 30th in their Lexus at the same spot. We look over and it's a light pole laying across Lakeshore Drive, like all the northbound lanes. And then our indicator light comes on and says that we have two flat tires and our car is riding disabled. When we spoke to Sweat, it wasn't clear if rust brought the pole down or if someone hit it with a car. When you drive in, in the country, they always warn you about a deer coming out of nowhere. But who would have thought a light pole would come out of nowhere and you run over it in the city? CDOT is telling us today it appears the light pole Sweat's husband ran over was hit by a vehicle. After speaking to Sweat about her experience and receiving a viewer email this morning, we decided to drive from Hollywood to Jeffrey Boulevard, both northbound and southbound on DuSable Lakeshore Drive. We counted nearly 50 missing light poles and at least five poles that were on the ground. In a statement, CDOT told us they regularly assess the condition of street light poles and wiring to make targeted repairs and replacements. This includes ongoing assessments on DuSable Lakeshore Drive by CDOT's Division of Electrical Operations. Now, CDOT says replacing poles like the one that used to be right here where you're looking at is labor intensive and the process takes time. They tell us that they are working on replacing all of the poles along this stretch of DuSable Lakeshore Drive. Live along DuSable Lakeshore Drive, Suzanne Lemonio, CBS 2 News.